Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Did you already subscribe to this channel? If not, please kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that whenever we are live or God gives us a prophetic word, you will not miss out on it. And if this is not your first time, family, God bless you. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for all your prayers and your support. I do not take them for granted. I always do receive them with a heart full of gratitude. Hallelujah. The Lord laid his word in my heart and I couldn't wait to share it. I'm always excited each time God gives me a word because I know that it's going to bring clarity to, to someone. It's going to bring hope. And someone's narrative is about to change based on this prophetic word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this prophetic word that you have released. Lord, I pray that it meets just the right person that needs to hear this. And I pray that when they come in contact with this word, let it resonate with them. And that they will not be able to resist what you are telling them through this word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So God gave me this word and I just wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. I was not in a place where I could do a video. So I just quickly wrote it down somewhere so I do not forget. God say, said they didn't just leave. It was a divine, divine separation. They didn't just leave. It was a divine separation. Sometimes we get so mad that people will leave us because we banked on them. Because we, um, you know, we had planned our future and they were part of our future. So sometimes when they leave, it really hurts because we were not ready to let them go. We we're not ready to, you know, accommodate that loss. But God says to someone, it, it didn't just happen. It was a divine orchestration. And when God gave me this prophetic word, he led me to the book of Genesis chapter 12 and it was uh, Genesis chapter 12 is talking about let's just get it I'm reading I'm reading from the amplified version of the Bible it says now in Haran the Lord had said to Abram go away from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to to the land which I will show you so God told Abraham specifically, he was categoric in his instruction. He says, go away from your country, from your relatives, from your father's house to a land I will show you. But Abraham took Lot along, along with him. Who was Lot? Lot was his nephew and Lot was his relative. And God told him, leave everyone else behind and go. The only person Abram had to leave Haran with is his wife, Sarai, because that was his immediate family. But Lot was not supposed to be there in the first place. But because of his love for Lot and he was emotional about Lot, he took Lot with him. And it got to a point where the Bible records that, you know, Abraham had grown so much. And because Lot was rubbing off on the grace of God that was upon the life of Abraham, he too grew. And then there, there, there was a fight between his headsmen, between his servants and the servants of Abraham. And Abraham called him and said, there is no need for us to fight like this. It's okay. I think right now we are supposed to separate. Just choose choose whatever direction you go i will go to the next i will go to the opposite direction now you might want to think that if you're not spiritually inclined you might want to think that um there was a problem with lord maybe he's not raised his servant well not necessarily lord was not a part of abraham's life lord was not when god got into a covenant with Abraham. It was for him and his family. It had nothing to do with Lord. So out of his, um, you know, his love for Lord, he took Lord along. But there are certain things that God wants to do with you. He's got to separate you. There's got to be a divine separation because as long as you are there with those people, you are never going to be. You know, I love the story of um, Joseph and his brothers because it always comes from so many angles. You can always use so many angles to say it. If God did not separate Joseph from his brothers, he would never have been a prime minister in Egypt. Whether they think it was their hatred that caused them to sell 
Joseph. It was a divine orchestration. That was a divine separation. You know, at some point in time, Lot might think that maybe he did not behave well. Maybe he did not treat his master well. And But that was a divine separation. When God wants to cause a divine separation, he will just get in the midst of you. And, you know, before you know it, you guys have separated because it was the will of the Lord. So there are certain separations in your life that were divine orchestrations. God did it himself. One thing I came to realize in my own life is that there are some people that are not going my way in life and in destiny. But because I love them so much, I want to pull them along with me. But it gets to a particular point in time when I can't pull them anymore and they've got to go. And it really hurts because I love them. And sometimes it might just happen by us having issues at that point in time irreconcilable differences no matter how much you try to change it or fix it you realize it's not getting fixed just know there is an invisible hand separating you both spoiling things and making sure that the relationship cannot be mended because god wants to take you to your next level and it's not everyone that is in your present level that qualifies to be in your next level and so there's going to be a shaking god is going to be laying off every excess weight that might stop you from you know getting to where he wants you to be so it's not for you to beat yourself and tell yourself maybe i did wrong i didn't treat this person right if i did it like this things would have happened differently it's okay do not beat yourself it's a divine separation orchestrated by god god's hand is in it if you do believe that god's hand is in it you're going to see this differently and you know indeed there is a god i call him the puppet master he's always behind the scenes pushing buttons and sometimes we are just a victim of his um you know of his will on the earth he's searching for someone to do one or two things and sometimes that person is you and your life can never be the same if that person is you hallelujah did you receive the word of god with gladness if you did, now may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I am looking forward to, to having you again on this channel. That is, if you are not subscribed, please kindly do that. And I'm looking forward to hear your comments what you have been going through, the kind of separation you went through that you blamed yourself for, not knowing God could have been the mastermind behind it. If you have any of such stories, you can just share in the comment section. Someone reading it might be encouraged. You don't know who you might be ministering to by your testimony. Just go ahead and log in, in in the comment section and say, I was separated from this person and I thought that was the end of my life just for this thing to happen. That came again and gave me hope you know. You might not know who you are blessing you might not know who you are ministering so hallelujah god bless you mightily i'll see you soonest bye bye